DJ Payne One. Damn that hurt! I'm gonna focus more on the get my background, more on the I guess practical logistics of social media marketing, so things that you can start using right away, but based on a lot of info and because it's kind of information heavy, uh, you can download the slideshow with all of the links and everything at that you are on the last. Um, it's not an O, it's a zero S Z zero at the end of that link. Just get some foundational stuff out of the way. And this is something that a lot of us as artists have trouble accepting. I know I did. I, don't, I can't necessarily speak to you, but I'm sure we all went through something similar. It's the, the fact that we see ourselves as artists, but for the purposes of actually marketing ourselves, we have to see ourselves as a brand. And that's not to say that we got to cheat on what we do as artists. It's just the reality of the situation. We are a brand. You know, every artist becomes a brand in and of, of themselves. Bands, two groups, whatever. And as a result of that, um, we have to act as brands just the way a big company would would, would treat their social media, and treat All their marketing. Right. Right. Basic stuff, but stuff that a lot of people don't do with social media is understanding the necessity of claiming your space on social media. I didn't have an Instagram for the longest time and someone just told me, you know, what if someone takes the DJ Payne one username? I'm like, oh, that'd be messed up because that would confuse people. So I registered it and now I use it sparingly. But being consistent with everything, a lot of people, a lot of artists I see will have some crazy username. It'll be like the hottest beat maker 36. And then their Facebook page is DJ Payne one and then their um, domain name is www.getbeatsnow.org. Like, there's no consistency in that, so it's going to confuse people. So having that degree of consistency will also will help you and help people find your pages and get in touch with you, and then therefore increase if you're if you're a producer, your DJs, if you're an artist, you're booking, your downloads, and all that. At a certain point, we got to accept our limits um, and not do everything ourselves. You know, at a certain point, if if you know you're not the, the best graphic designer, but you need a logo that you're going to use for the extent of your career, just hire somebody. Don't don't try to just kind of do it yourself if you don't feel comfortable because that's something that's going to stick with you forever. And you know, if you're changing your game plan in the ninth inning and getting an entirely different logo after you've promoted the, the, the previous logo for five years, you kind of just wasted five years of branding. Another really big thing is, is the shortcut factor. I see a lot of artists searching for shortcuts where they might spend a whole week's time trying to find a shortcut. Like, how do I get a thousand followers on Twitter fast? Or how do I get a million likes on Facebook fast? And in that whole week's time, they could have accomplished so much more. I mean, even if in that week's time, you, they, they reached out to 10 people and gained eight fans. That's far more meaningful than wasting all that time trying to attain something that um, it doesn't exist. There, there are no shortcuts, period. And I talk to a lot of people too who just kind of, artists who just don't know what to do. They're like, I don't know what to do. I've tried everything, which is not true. Everything's a big word, but they just don't know where to start on the social media stuff. Because let's be honest, a lot of this stuff is, is new to us as artists. We're, like I said, we're creative people. We don't. We don't want to operate companies. We want to rap. We want to make beats. You know what I'm saying? We gotta make. We want to make videos. We want to do creative stuff. I want to ask but, you a question because since you brought up copyright and trademark, and those are two family different things. So copyright is, is inexpensive as far as intellectual property goes, and trademarking is, is um, something that is a lot more expensive and a lot more arduous of a process. Whereas Trademarking, I believe you really <coughs> need to understand the law. Copyright, you can just go on copyright.gov. And we do it all the time for songs and beats and stuff like that. It's, it's something more for intellectual property. Copyright is, is basically if something can be published, some content can be published, you copyright it. And if it has to do with identity and branding, it's got to be trademarked.